Good morning YouTube! So with today's video I'm going to give you 5 winter cheapies for under $30. So let's just start it off with number 1. That's going to be Dunhill's Custom. Generally when it comes to Dunhill and winter or like colder season scent, it's the Pursuit that I add to the list. Pursuit in my opinion is a better scent but this one needs a little bit more limelight. This is a simple scent. It has red apple, cedar, pepper but also uh, incense. What this is it's a fruity, smoky, woody scent with like an ambery vibe. This is more of a mature scent with the notes of pepper, like and like that ambery feel, the cedar and the incense. But the apple itself does add a little bit more of a playful touch. This is not really a young man scent. I'm thinking someone who's 30 and up, but if you're like in your 20s and you like it, then rock it, all right? But I find that this would go very well with a suit and tie, but also like a sense of style. You could wear it like this, I would dress this one up a little bit more. Just have that sense of style, right? This is a good office scent, but it's also a great night out scent, like a nice suit and tie. Tuxedo, not so much, but I would say like, if you're going to like an opera, or like a, where you have to dress up in a suit and tie, this will be a really nice scent. But it's also a good date night scent. You know, like if you're already in an established relationship, whether it's marriage or you're just with somebody, this is a nice scent for like a casual dinner in a movie or like a casual dinner and like a walk in a park with like a hot chocolate in your hand. Would go very well with that. This is not a club scent. Yes, the apple does like add a little bit of sweetness and a little bit more of a playful touch to it. But uh, yeah, no. Like if you're looking for a club scent and you're wearing this, the girl's gonna be like, what are you wearing? No, that, that's not something I enjoy. This is too formal, too elegant for the club. But if you want an elegant fragrance that has like a little bit of sweetness to it, you might want to look into this one here. This is a great winter fragrance, but you could wear this on the colder autumn days as well. And longevity is going to be about six to seven hours. Fragrance number two, I was the original hype man for this one here. Ferragamo F Black. I really was. I plugged this relentlessly back in 2014 and 2015. I think this came out in like 2008 or 2009. What it is, it's black pepper, apple, lavender, and lademo. It's a simple fragrance. It's an overly peppery scent with lavender and apple and like a little bit of a, of a resinous balsamic-y feel from the lademo. It's a masculine scent. It's not the Wolf of Wall Street that Jeremy says. And a lot of people always think that Jeremy is like the initial hype man. You know, I'm not a big name channel, but you know, I've been around the block. I've been around for a long time. I'm seasoned. Jeremy told me himself that he got the recommendation off my channel, which kind of like really shocked me, but was also very humbling. And this will go very well with a suit and tie, but also something like this. I think that someone who is in their late 20s might appreciate this one more than someone who is in their late teens or early 20s. This does come across as a little bit more mature. It's not polished, it's not professional, but I do think that this will go very well with a suit and tie, but also it's a great work scent. If you want to wear it on a night out, you can definitely wear it on a classy night out, but also like a, a fun casual night out. Not club, get the hell out of here with that. This stuff here is way too polished for the club. And if you wear this to the club, very much like this, the lady is going to be like, what the hell are you wearing? Longevity off this is about six to eight hours. Fragrance number three, whew, this comes across as a little bit more masculine and definitely a little bit more old manish. So for you, for you old farts out there, Jaguar for men, Preve. What this is, it's just a woody, spicy scent. It's got vetiver, cypress, it's got cedar, pepper, cinnamon, cardamom, but also amber. It's just a woody, spicy scent. This comes across as more mature, a little bit more old manish. Yeah, you could wear it as a 30 year old, but I'm thinking someone who's just a little bit older. This is mature, it's classy, but at the same time, it's a little bit bad boy. It's a little bit mysterious. This will go very well with a suit and tie, but definitely with a black t-shirt and leather jacket, without question. But I can't see someone in university really liking this one here. This also comes across as a little vintage in some ways. That cypress note, if you don't like cypress, this is one that you're probably not gonna wanna smell. And the performance is not so bad. This is about six to eight hours, and this is definitely a cheapie because you can get this for as low as 17 to 18 bucks. Fragrance number four, if you're all about the clubs, this is a solid club fragrance. K2 
Kenneth Cole Copper Black. This has whiskey, vanilla, leather, apple, ginger, and guy wood. It's a warm, spicy scent with woods, sweet vanilla, and definitely a little bit of a fruity nuance. This can be a bomb. A lot of people who have worn this stated that they only get like three to five hours. I get like anywhere from like six to nine hours and projection off my skin is solid. This can, in my opinion, is a bit of a bomb. It, it's definitely more of a night out fragrance and it does have that youthful touch. If you're an old fart who likes it, then rock it, fine. But for me, this just might resonate with someone who is like in their teens, but also 20s. It's a school scent, a going out scent, and when it comes to work, not so much unless like you work in like the hospitality industry, like you work in a, a restaurant, a bar, a strip club. You work as a bouncer, the strippers are gonna be all over you and not the customers itself, so you better fork over that dolo. And fragrance number five, this is probably the cheapest one in this entire list, and it's probably the oldest as well. But that's gonna be Perry Ellis. Mmm, because that's what the ladies are gonna say. Man, I am so cheesy. I used that back, I used that line back in the day, and I'm still using it now. So I'm just using it for laughter, but also a little bit of a cringe factor. But this fragrance here is definitely synthetic in the opening. But when it does simmer down, it's actually quite nice. But it has like cinnamon, anise, it's got balsam fir, vetiver, but also vanilla. It's a warm, spicy, fresh, vanillic, powdery fragrance with some woods. If you don't like powdery scents, this is one that you're probably not going to like. This fragrance is actually surprisingly quite versatile. Because it does have similarities to Chanel Allure Homme itself that came out in like 96 or 98. Been reformulated, doesn't smell the same, haven't smelled it in years, but they do have similarities like the old reformulation or the old formulation in this itself. But it's playful but classy. A young person can wear it, but also someone who is as old as a grandfather. It's a going out scent. Like a date, not so much a club, a nice dinner, like a suit and tie, for work, for school. So it's quite versatile. And performance, not bad. It's gonna range anywhere from five to seven hours. And price tag, this you can get this for as low as 17, 18 bucks. And guys, that's it. I just gave you five winter cheapies for under $30. Any reviews that I've done on these, if you want like more thorough reviews, they will all be down in the description box below. If you want to see other winter cheapy lists, check out this side here. And if you want to see other cheapy lists or videos, they will all be down in the description box below. You might get a smell rate or even just like a previous year of a top five or top 10. If you like this very video, leave me one of these. I thank you for the time, take care, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody.